Hi there, my name's Emma and if you don't know, September is Blood Cancer Awareness Month. Leukaemia Care run their campaign, see I'm wearing their t-shirt, uh, they run their campaign, their Spot Leukaemia campaign um, to try and get the message out there to everybody on what the signs, signs and symptoms are of blood cancer, what to look for and to get tested if you have the any of these signs and symptoms. Now, 2016, about four years ago, I recorded a video as part of one of their campaigns which told the beginning of my story from when I was diagnosed at the age of 33 in 2013. Um, that day, the 8th of September 2013, I can't even say it without getting upset. Um, that date will stick in my mind for eternity. I had some of the signs and symptoms that they tell you to look for. I had absolutely no idea that I had leukaemia. I was tired all of the time. I was bruised. If I'd have stripped naked, you'd have sworn I'd been battered. That is how bruised I was. I was having night sweats. I was itchy. I was getting aches and pains. But I actually put it all down to Crohn's disease, which I have as well. If you look at the last video, that goes through. Um, what I'd been through the first four years and how it affected me. But now I want this video to be more positive because I am coping with it. I am dealing with leukaemia and it's not a death sentence like a lot of people think. There's a lot of support out there. Leukaemia care, absolutely amazing absolutely amazing so a little bit about me i'm now 40 years old i have two beautiful children um who are now much more grown up than when i was first diagnosed they understand everything they know what's going on um and i am dealing with the leukaemia I now am learning to live with it I had a bit of a short sharp shock because um, I'm a very positive person I'm a very much let's get on with it crack on with it don't have time to be sick and um, I was very excited at the end of last year because there was the prospect of me looking to come off my medication even for a little while I was so excited to be able to try and do that um, at the beginning of the year, my chemotherapy tablets were cut in half by each day and I was having monthly blood tests and I was so excited because I thought, right, a year of this, then I can come off and my body's going to be able to cope with this itself. Less than three months later, I got a phone call to say that they needed to Put my medication back up to full dose my body wasn't coping on even half the medication yes it was upsetting i won't say that i wasn't disappointed because i really really was however it was a bit like a slap in the face because it was like come on then now this is it you need to help your body as well don't expect your body just to do everything for you and it was a bit of a a shock because I really really did think that my body would be able to cope with it but I haven't seen it as a negative I've taken it as a positive and thought right you need to now help your body so yes I still get tired extremely tired yes I still have aches and pains um, yes I still get night sweats to be honest I'm not sure if some of that's to do with my age now but we won't say that. Um, 
I have been helping my body. I have been coping with this because I had the realisation that I need to work at this myself. I need to start really looking after my body because my body is trying its hardest to look after me and cope with this illness as well as the Crohn's disease on top of that. So I have started exercising more and I know these are cliches if you exercise more you have more energy or people think they're cliches they're really really not and hopefully if you watched my previous video and watch this one now you will see I hopefully look to you a lot healthier than I was then or then I you know and that was just four years ago I have much more energy don't get me wrong I have to have the days where I still need to just stay in bed and sleep all day I won't lie I won't pretend that that doesn't happen because it does but I've started exercising much more I have started um, filling my body with more nutrition and working on my nutrition to really give my immune system my energy and my body a boost which personally I found that really 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 helpful I've got a lot of support I really have and I know not everybody has this is why these guys leukemia care are such such a good um, contact for you to have if you're going through any sort of blood cancer they have people that can help They've certainly helped me over the years, certainly helped my family and we have definitely tried to give back to them by doing fundraisers which have been great. Um, but not only the support that I have from my family, my husband, my children, my friends, um, which is above and beyond anything I could ever ask for. But I am now surrounding myself with people with positive energies um, who are working with me to, with, in terms of my nutrition, working with me in terms of my exercise. So I don't do that alone either. I get all of the support from that. So I take support when I need it from where I need it. And that is definitely, definitely something that you should look at doing or try to do because I cannot tell you how much of a help that is it it's a lonely place in there um nobody knows what is truly going on in your head but if you have people at the right moments it is a massive support so what what I'd like you to do, if I can appeal to you, is really start looking after yourself. Look after your body. Look after your mind. These times are really difficult at the moment. Nourish yourself. Get the support you need. What I will do, I will post the link to Leukemia Care in the details below along with my original story. I will also post a link for the um, the signs and symptoms of leukaemia so that you know what you're looking for. And if you think, think that this or any of the links are gonna be useful to you or anyone you know, please share it with them please 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 it's really important we get this message out there and it's really important that everyone knows that there is someone that can support them as well i'm happy for you to message me i'm more than happy to support anyone that needs support and try and point you in the right direction if i can um for more videos on support looking after yourself, nutrition, share, give me a like, subscribe and I will be putting this out there, putting this support out there.
So thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video. And I'm sending love and positive vibes to all of you.